Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Dom and I are really excited, this is not sponsored. I bought Everlane mask and they are like the best mask ever. I pretty oh, much- Oh, it's in my bag, my white one's in my bag. I pretty much bullied Kenzie into letting me use it. Oh, it is currently Monday. This morning we filmed a video where Dom does my morning routine and it's so funny and she just said, Kenzie, I can't lie, I feel like I'm on top of the world, right? I feel so, guys, no BS. I literally feel so good and I actually have done so much today. And and like at first I was dogging Kenzie because I was like, time. this hoe gets up at God knows what time. Not even early. Takes out these dogs, cleans the house, cooks, yes I do the cooking, yes I, I do, do the, the cleaning. cleaning. And then like, you know, but now and I've done 12, 3, 40, uh -huh. and I've run, I've watered plants, I've taken care of the children, Coco and Fitz. You feel good. I feel good and I feel happy. Exactly, guys. I have gotten a lot done today. It's been a very productive Monday morning. We're about to go grab Starbucks. I haven't even had breakfast yet. It's 12, 18, just because I was so focused on filming this video with Dom that I just forgot. Wait, I, no, I sang, but I stole a mush because I thought I was going to pass out. You're not stealing. You can eat the food in the fridge, Dom. Like, we go through this all the time. Also, I haven't even had the mushes for my last package, so I would prefer that you eat them because they're probably going to go bad. Anyways, I'm putting some stuff away. We're about to head out. We have to run an errand, get some coffee. Dom just, like, needs to pick up some clothes at a store because she basically, like, didn't pack enough. So she know. really wants clothes. This is, like, the fifth time. Like, she's been putting off doing this, and now I'm like, we should just go. Yeah. We just gotta go. And then I've got a lot of editing to do today, so it's not gonna be the most entertaining vlog later on, but uh, we're going somewhere, guys. Guys, look, my mask, it matches my outfit. So cute. This is what I've been waiting for since I woke up this morning. Yurt. Hi, can I, do you want your normal? Sorry, one second. I want matcha. Um, can I get the, Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're just sorry, waiting. Sorry. This is my story. Can I get day. a protein box? Yes, and then one protein box, and that's it. The chicken and hummus one. Uh, the the chicken and hummus. The chicken and hummus? Yes. Let me check if I have it. Oh, Peter. Oh. Dom does this thing where she doesn't decide what she wants until after oh. it ordered. Like, I'm talking like paid. You know? Do you guys know something different about my makeup? Maybe it's because I did it like Kenzie Elizabeth today. Kenzie Elizabeth today. Okay, Miss Latoya know. Wilkerson is. Yo, no, I love her. Like, hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Period and goodbye. Oh my god. She's so wait. Like her birthday party invite. Was it like guys, virtual or something? Is that look, what she? This she's girl, a queen. Oh my gosh, they sent her all this mail. <laughs> Guys, she has her own pillow that says lip gloss poppin'. She's incredible. And look at her carrying her mail. Oh. I just, I'm too obsessed with her. If my daughter isn't just like this. Hey guys. Can I play a song? What's it gonna be? No, 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 no. I can leave it on you. Probably gonna be some like depressing um, song. No, what the? F That's so rude. <laughs> Do you see? That's my assumption about you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so festive. Oh. Still my cry. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Favorite Christmas song. I am such a breakfast person, and for me to have not had breakfast so far, and it's noon. Yeah. It just like doesn't happen. Morning routine by ours. Well, you know what? You, I'm kidding. I'm you messed kidding. up my morning routine this morning. Wow. I picked up on some bad habits of projecting my problems onto people. <laughs> <laughs> I really gonna think this is for real. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna get it. They're gonna be like, Kenzie's so mean. Kenzie is mean. Oh. Uh, it's not true. I have audio of you saying I'm the nicest person ever. No, I'll use Kenzie, it against you, you as long as I live. Me? You're literally so nice. Please keep it coming. What okay, else do you have to say about me? It's over. <laughs> Guys, we're back home. The The fridge is not as organized as it once was because there's just so much stuff in here. However, we got new drinks. These were sent to me. I don't really like sparkling water that much, but I know that Dom does, so hopefully these are good. She said they're good, and I'll try them, but they look super cute, guys. I got 
great things today. I am so excited to show you. So the shopping trip was fully for Dom, but I feel as though I benefited the most. We're gonna start off, oh wait, no. We are gonna start off with what I got from Favor the Kind. Guys, this is the best thing I've purchased in 2020, and I've said that a lot. Could be my house, could be my Kindle Oasis. No, this is it. It's a Dolly Parton ornament. I will have it linked down below. Favor the Kind, I believe they're in Dallas in Colorado, but like, oh my God, look at this. Is this not the most me thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Dolly Parton ornament. Like, also the funniest thing I've ever seen. So, anyways, if you know any Dolly Parton lovers, this is a great gift. Okay. Moving on to H&M, guys. I have never been an H&M shopper, really, until 2020. And I just keep getting the best things from them. They were also 30% off today. Also, it is bothering me that this sports bra doesn't match my tank top. But this sports bra in this color, was this oat milk? I don't know. Couldn't tell you, um, not available. Okay, first thing I got, which this was $80 total, 30% off, is this like beige coat. It's really hard to find a beige coat that doesn't look really cheap. The one from Everlane that I wanted was $250. This one is 80 and it was 30% off. Like guys, it's such a good coat. Just a classic, I'll have it forever. There's another coat I have like, I have a beige coat, but I hate it. So I'm really excited to get rid of that and keep this one because I will wear this forever. Such a good buy. Okay, this sweater is like, was only $20. It's not the best material, but I love the look of it. And it was on sale and it's one of those things where, I don't know, like I hope this thing pleasantly surprises me why how it keeps, but I just love the look. Thought it was so cute, really simple. Love that. And then I got this cropped little sweater that I know I will get so much use out of for $34.99 obviously plus 30% off so cute I got it in an extra small just so it would like actually be a little bit more fitted but so cute so I got three pairs of shoes these are also on sale for 30% off I only have two with me the other pair are so cute but I might not get them because they may have sold out but we can't we can long story whatever no one cares I heard I got these in brown or not green why did I think I got these in green I know you got them in brown. I know. I know I got them in brown, but for some reason I got them in green. I also probably will buy these in green, but these are so beautiful. Sam Adelman has like the cutest shoes ever. Love these little loafers. So cute. They had so many different colors, and I feel like I'm going to wear them all the time. I'm really into brown this year, and I haven't been into brown since like elementary school. Saved the best for last with these boots. I really did. Have you ever seen more beautiful boots in your entire life? The answer is no, okay? I will have all this linked down below, but guys, 30% off the most beautiful boots I have ever seen, without a doubt. Literally in love with these. So I'm gonna wear these every day. Can't wait. All right, guys, I just showered. I worked out, I did 12 through 30. I forced myself to work out. Now it is 5.30. I'm gonna make some bone broth or heat up some bone broth. I got this at the farmer's market yesterday. Wow, that feels like date. Like that literally feels like four days ago. Anyways, it's just one to one. This is the place that I went at the Dallas farmer's market. It was, she's super cute. She used to teach cooking classes and stuff. We really got along well. We have designated survivor on. Just made some bone broth that I got at the farmer's market, heating up some dinner. This is just leftover bolognese. And then I am boiling some noodles. Guys, it's Tuesday morning. Um, it's like 7 right now. I'm going to wash my sheets and do everything today. So that's why this looks like this. Um, I just put on another set active set. I want to show you the sports bra, but I don't know how much you can really see. Like, isn't that so cool? I, I've never had a sports bra like this where it's just like one side. So I thought that was cool. Anyways, um, I also got the tank top. I got all this at the set active sale. I actually really do like it. I think it's really flattering. The sports bras I really like. I'm not gonna say they're like the sturdiest if you have a big chest, but they still work. And because a lot of my stuff is like, a lot of my workouts lately are like low intensity, it's not that big of a deal. I also just think the leggings are really flattering and comfortable. I'm about to take the dogs on a walk. I have a lot of editing to do today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to get ready because I don't think I'm filming until tomorrow, which is cool, but just got some things to do. So I'm about to take the dogs on a walk. I self-tanned last night using the Isle of Paradise tanner, which is one of my favorites. I get the medium color. I just love having a little bit of a tan on because it like cancels out all redness and I just look more awake. I'm gonna go, it's probably cold out. I might have to throw on another coat, we'll see. All right guys, I know you're probably shocked. I'm at Starbucks. 
I'm not proud, I'm really not. It's just this drink, guys. It's like no one, I would love to find a smaller coffee shop that can make this, um, but I've had no luck. I've had quite the morning, went on a nice walk, I've been reading, I started reading Lisa Turkers. Is that how you say her last name? I've never actually said it out loud. <laughs> Um, one of my favorite authors, new book, so that's exciting. Um, I did my Devo, and now I'm getting coffee, and I'm going to the grocery store. So it feels like quite the little self-care morning. It's also cold out, which I love. I'm listening to a podcast. I was listening to my lab. I actually think I'm going to listen to the City Confidential. Oh, today, guys, I'm excited. I found a organizer in the Dallas area, so I will be sharing the process. I'll obviously be sharing her and her page. Um, I just really want to get my kitchen and my like laundry room it's not really a room you'll see what I mean um organized we're gonna figure it all out um and then hopefully I can save a lot of money on my organization stuff and buy it online on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or whatever I mean those sales at this point are like two weeks long Look. hey everybody welcome to another episode of All right guys, so I'm home. I just drank some bone broth. Um, we have to run an errand just like down the street. So just sent videos of my kitchen and my laundry like room. It's in a room, but I think you guys have definitely seen it in the vlogs. It's off the garage, so it's downstairs. And I honestly just need, basically I just feel like things are cluttered and one, my kitchen needs to be organized to the laundry room i feel like that's space that i could be utilizing in a much better way so i am working with an organizer in dallas and so i just sent her over videos and stuff um you guys can do this virtually guys it is 4 30 now i haven't even been able to get the work done that i wanted to today because we it just the whole it was a day okay um but i'm gonna head upstairs i'm in the middle of washing all my sheets doing a bunch of laundry i need to get some editing done so i'm gonna get cozy and have an editing night which i haven't done in a while because i feel like i've been really good about my schedule and trying to not work past like six all right guys very exciting jamie kern lima's book i just got it in the mail i'm so excited she's just one of the greatest people one of my favorite people um i have a podcast episode up with her that is so good seriously everyone should listen to it anyways this book comes out in february and i'm having her on again so i got an early release copy which i'm so excited to read guys just like look at how cute the set active set is i just love i've never worn um a sportswear like this but i think it's really cute it looks like i'm not wearing a top right now i am so i started watching designated survivor with dom i don't know if we said that in the vlog but I actually watched all of Dash and Lily, which is very good for me because I'm bad about watching series. My drawers are just falling out of my nightstand right now. Oh my gosh, guys. Big news. I'm like all over the place right now. So you know this book that I talked about that I absolutely love is Dr. Amen. They're opening Amen Clinics in Dallas, which I just found out today. So that's great news for 2020. They open, it says online January 2021. Anyways, um, I also started watching Designated Survivor after I finished Dash and Lily. I thought Dash and Lily was so cute. I know it's like cheesy, but whatever, it's Christmas. And we started watching Designated Survivor, and we're like probably seven or eight episodes in. I love that show. It kind of gives me scandal vibes, so I'm into it. I was so excited to cook tonight, and honestly, with just today's um, day as a whole, I lost all my energy. So anyways, I just ordered some soup and a sandwich from McAllister's off DoorDash. I'll have my DoorDash code linked down. Good morning, happy Wednesday. My hair is an absolute mess today. I just got dressed. I'm actually dressed today, which is pretty good for me. This brown set is from Revolve. I don't know when I became such a Revolve gal. This coat is the coat I got this week at H&M. And then my boots are my new favorite boots from Sam Edelman. I'll show you up close, they're so cute. Like, I'm gonna wear them all the time. If I didn't have these, I'd be wearing my Uggs. So I'm much more stylish now. Oh, and obviously I'm wearing my favorite bag. I'm just really into browns this season. Guys, literally all this vlog is me getting this drink. It's so <laughs> embarrassing. I need to just love your outfit for the day. Yeah. I don't feel that much anymore, so I'm feeling good about it. Oh my gosh, it is so bright. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Yes, please. Good. Um, I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Really just like Star talk about a better way to start off your day. Star Starbucks, Starbucks. We're going to get rapid tested just to be 
responsible and safe. Guys, who remembers Sam Moon? If any of you guys grew up in like North Dallas, when Sam Moon opened when we were young, oh my god, I just I didn't even know it still existed. I'm in Farmer's Branch right now, but like, I just, I almost need to go in. We're home, I'm about to edit, get some work done. I got this new candle from Recess, which was so exciting. I know I should cut the wick, I just was too lazy. Look at this. Take a recess, my favorite drinks. My hair right now. Ooh. I just filmed a reel with my bed details. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my Instagram reel. Hi, oh, okay, I literally just washed my bedding. This is the problem. Good afternoon, everyone. My hair is crazy, I know. Um, I'm currently making bone broth. I've already shared this with you guys. I've been sharing it on my Instagram stories, but we've been doing this this week. Basically, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's super easy. Ooh. I know my mom will like straight up put bone broth in soup and stuff. I normally will just drink it. I'm gonna make half a cup. If I'm just making it for myself, I do like a half a cup. Um, but if I'm making it for me and Dom, I do a cup of water and a cup of this. It's like two seconds. It's so good for you. I can't tell you the benefits off the top of my head because I just can't. But if you Google them, um, it comes up like really quick. I feel like I haven't had enough water today. I, oh, okay. I just finished editing the funniest video literally ever of me and Dom. Like, I'm actually dying at it. Basically, Dom's in my morning routine. It's coming soon. You guys will see it within the next few days. Um, but it is so funny. I'm just like so proud of that video and I think you guys are gonna love it. I've been looking for my water cup. Later tonight, I'm gonna need to bake some pies. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, we are going to my sister's, just my immediate family, plus Dom, obviously. So, I'm just really excited. It's been such a good week, and it just feels so good out. Like, I don't know, I just love cold weather, and it puts me in the best mood. I have my bone broth. I'm about to edit some more videos and reels and things like that. All right, guys, I've just been sending a bunch of stuff in that needed to go in to be approved this time of year. I know everyone talking about this is the busiest time of the year because it's quarter four. So basically, there's more money in advertising and you know, brand deals. So, here I am, I'm actually about to go record a solo podcast for The Living Room, which if you guys didn't know, it is my faith-based Patreon. A lot of you guys recently been asking for a podcast episode on like my testimony, which is basically my story. It sounds so like ridiculous. That's up on there already. Currently, we have one on mental health. Guys, look, look at these dogs right now. Like, fits what? So anyways, we're currently doing one on mental health, but I'm actually going to start working on one that's like basically 2020 being a disappointment and making it out alive, but in a good, more positive way than that. Guys, I just got the cutest little present dropped off at my house. Oh my God, like look, <gasps> this is so cute. So this is actually one of Natalie Barbie's really good friends and she's opening up a coffee shop in Dallas. So I'm sure I will go in soon, maybe make a TikTok, you know, me and my Dallas my Dallas self, but she just dropped off all of this, which was so sweet. This cold brew, some dog treats for the pups. She's so cute, but if you guys want a discount code, it's Kinsey15. It's roasted in Texas. Oh my gosh, wait, there's holiday stencils. <gasps> From the cinnamon, oh my gosh, stop. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I literally feel so cool. Oh my gosh, okay, well, thank you so much. This is such a cute gift to get. All right guys, it's five. I've just been baking this afternoon and watching Bad Mom's Christmas. Go, this is the gluten-free pie crust for my mother. This is the good one. All right guys, they're finally ready to go in the oven. If you guys need the actual recipe, it's on an Instagram reel on my profile. Honestly, I've been on my feet for the past two hours and I'm already exhausted. I'm currently heating up some tamales 
from the farmer's market. I'm just gonna have a chill night. I started reading a new book last night called The Light We Lost. And I finished my original book last night and I saw like 30% left. Then I got that book because I saw people talking about it in the Redheads Book Club on Facebook. And then, I'm literally so old, I started reading that last night and I could have read it in one sitting, but I made myself stop, I think at like 50 or something, I'm like halfway done. I might finish it tonight because it's just so good. But Dom is trying to plug her vlog. She just started playing it. Yeah guys, I just, uh, you know, there can't be just one vlogger in the house, so check it out, IGTV vlog coming at you live. Coming at ya. I mean, not live, but it's on her Instagram. Go check it out. All right, I'm uploading a video. I'm gonna keep editing a vlog. It's 6.43 p.m. Hi, Coco. And then I'm gonna read my book. Look at how cute she is. I showered, I feel like so just cozy and good. Oh, I feel so good in my room. Thanksgiving guys, I just packed up. I actually, oh my gosh. Didn't even realize you were standing there, Fitz. These dogs are actually gonna kill me today. Anyways, I just got ready. I don't love these jeans with the sweater, but honestly, I already put boots on and I just don't feel like changing. I'm gonna put a coat on anyways. I just did my hair and makeup. Um, I'm using my little Shea Mitchell base bag. By the way, this bag is incredible. I know I've shared it before. I haven't even put anything in the bottom of it because I don't really need anything this time. Actually, no, I'm gonna put my boots there. Anyways, this is the best weekender bag. Like, it is honestly next level. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's some scudder. There's, a sub There's some chatter. There's some scudder, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're at Starbucks. Okay, I didn't I'm even tell you we were coming. A peppermint mocha with almond milk. Okay, I guess. That's what you want and everything. What well, can I get started? I'm glad that you had it already. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? We are happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we are at Starbucks. This has been every day in this vlog. Dom and I are partaking in a very um, intimate um, activity of listening to a podcast together yeah that really is like a new you know i don't know i just don't like listening to podcasts with people normally yeah it's more of like a solo act I feel you. speaking of new podcast episode went out today it's a holiday survival guy oh, it's mine spoiler alert um oh. also i kind of I, oh i think i'm wearing the sweater that i wore in the am i gotcha yeah i'm wearing the sweater i wore in the new cover but I'm giving you a holiday survival guide. So dealing with family drama, self-care in the holidays, routines, having energy. Um, again, dealing with family drama. You know, I'm an expert at this point. Lauren and I did um, a book club for our last book. So Lauren's on the last half of the episode. But it's really good regardless of if you did the book club or not because it's not just that. Every day. Are you one of those people who doesn't eat until Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, no, I just didn't know how your family was. We just eat as soon as the food's ready. No. Like, do you not have breakfast? Because you want to be so hungry. Oh, no. We, like, literally would be, like, we'd start eating now. Do you get what I'm you, saying? Do you just, as each dish is ready, you just eat it? Like, once 11 hits, everything's ready. Oh, uh, like, Alexis spent, like, $100 on the charcuterie board alone. So I'm imagining us to have, like, a lot of things happening. Yeah. And Sophie's ready to be a YouTube star. She recently told my parents, aka her grandparents, this is my niece. I'm the, I'm the She's so cute every time she's been here like all week. I like want to get their names. I feel like that's, you know how I do that with a coffee people, but I feel yeah. like that's kind of weird in a drive through yeah, Is good. that weird? I don't know. There you go. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Anyways, Sophie recently told my parents that she said she's really excited because Kinsey's gonna teach her how to start a YouTube channel, which was interesting because we haven't had that conversation. So I guess I'm here to teach her how to start a YouTube channel. So. We have gotten permission from her mother, AKA my sister, or technically my stepsister, um, to do YouTube. Oh, okay, I'm gonna give you guys a family tree really quickly because I know that's gonna be asked. It's always asked. I'm just gonna do my mom's side of the family today because I can't even be bothered. I have two like real siblings, right? And then on my mom's side, I technically have, I have three step siblings on her side. One of them has passed away. So the two living are Alexis, my stepsister, who's like five years older than me, and then Ryan. I have two stepbrothers named Ryan. It's very confusing, I know. Ryan's 11 months older than me. I don't even know if he's home right now. 
Sophie, Alexis is married to my brother-in-law, we call him Poncho, and then Sophie is their kid. And then it's the rest of my family. Okay, I need to do one of those TikToks that Keaton did, people keep requesting it, but like my family is just not as like excited to be on camera as her family, you know? I feel like you could do it. I would like force them. To get my brother Ryan to do this, like you don't understand, he would literally rather die than do the TikTok, which honestly, if I got my whole family in on it, they would do it just because they thought it would be funny if they made Ryan do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, I guess I will go into my dad's side. My dad is remarried, and they both have been, both my parents have been remarried for like 10 years. My step siblings on that side are Ryan, Seth, Abby, they're triplets. Seth is in the vlogs, like honestly, pretty frequently. I'm with Seth all the time. I was on FaceTime with him earlier. Um, and they are sen seniors in high school, and so is my little brother. And so there's four of them that are the same age. And it really is stressful. I thought about that this morning, that like all my siblings are gonna basically, are gonna be away at college next year. I'm like not gonna do well because that mm. will just not be I mean, good at all. I'll the be very good sad. The is Kenzie has me. And it's really that, weird that she didn't mention me and her family tree. And then Dom is actually the adopted daughter. Yeah. So it's like crazy how yeah, yeah. that worked out. It's crazy how it worked out. My I mom really would adopt just you. do a really, I'm really good at forcing my way into people's families. This is what I fear about having a significant other during the holidays that like wants to go see their family because I already have such a big family that my holidays are already split here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean like obviously I'm not gonna like not go to their family. I'm not gonna actually do that, but yeah. it's just gonna be like really interesting, especially cause I feel like I'm way closer to my family than most people are. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's never been a problem before because like my family also is kind of like my social life as well as like whoever I'm dating like they you know get looped in I would go do it with another yeah. family Whoa. I just hope that they're in Texas what's so interesting is I'm reading the book for your book club oh holiday. you started it yeah, yeah it's really it's really cute and it's fun okay. I feel like this is what I would want like I think this is like really cool pretty much it's like a, like a group of friends that got really close in college yes. and they like all had kids and their kids are like best friends and they every year spend Christmas together yeah and all of that and they just like have not not spent Christmas together ever since like someone well, one of their friends I, I could away. be down to that thank god we're college friends um so I, I make the cut I could be into that and also I think Regardless, like, I think I would want to do, I would love to have, like, a really close friend group. We all get married, have kids around the same time, yeah. do the similar things, and then we go and we, like, go to, like, Montana for a week before Thanksgiving. Things like that. Like, yeah. I would be so into that. Yeah. But also, that's why I have to buy a massive house in Texas, because I want to host. So then everyone comes to me. You yeah, know, so it's like yeah. my family's here, all of my family's here. I have way too big of a family, and then all my friends, you know? Just, just things to think about. Let me know how you guys are celebrating Thanksgiving, um, what you guys do, what your typical holiday traditions are. Um, we're pretty low key. We don't like dress up on Christmas or anything like that. I kind of wish that we would have been that family that like entertained more on Christmas. We're Christmas Eve people. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that makes sense. Huge though. Christmas Eve. So like Christmas Eve is like the bash, and then actual Christmas like we don't uh, we don't see anyone like it's just our family Christmas day is always kind of sad for yeah, me yeah Christmas day yeah. is just like weird Christmas day is weird Christmas season is the best Christmas season Christmas but the actual day, day of Christmas yeah is that's like, why in my podcast actually check it out I talk about the holiday blues and just how I don't know I think maybe it's because you have such high expectations of the day too yeah I don't know well, Christmas Day is when I'm like, usually my parents buy me a new video game, and so I spend the rest of the day playing that, and then yeah. we're just like together, like, you know, we're not really doing anything special, but yeah. we're just like together, I guess. And I was thinking about that, it's fun, like I'm really upset because now that like my step siblings are older, I was thinking of all the fun things, like my youngest step siblings are older, I was thinking of yeah. all the fun things we could be doing, yeah. or like we can go do on Christmas and like we can't do that. I really just miss Black Friday shopping. But that's what I'm so upset about. No. Black Friday shopping in Dallas is unlike anything else. Maddie Trapp and I would go, oh my God, our Black Friday, I honestly want to go back and watch those vlogs just to like live vicariously through my old Black Friday things. We would go literally right around here and we would be out from 8 p.m. one night to like 4 p.m. the next day. It was so yeah. unbelievably unsafe, but yeah. it was so much fun, and that is what I'm most no, heartbroken about. No, dude, literally same. In Arizona, I would go out 
at well, we would start at 10 and I would not come back until like 4 or 5 p.m. Yeah. And then we would like and it would be just like a group like our whole high school would literally go every high school would go honestly. Oh my god. I it was just it. so much freaking so fun. fun. And then you'd see like cute guys from other schools. Yes. Yes. Oh but my god. Nothing beats nothing yes. beats coming home when like everyone's in college oh, and then no. everyone's home for the holidays and it's like oh my god do you know okay this was like pre my okay i actually have to revisit we're doing a little holiday pass thing <laughs> just needed to revisit um a time period of my life so during like my early college days before i was in dlc and i was in my other school i would do these things called winter break flings and a winter break fling oh yeah i have reached the maturity to where I just can't really pull that off anymore. Also, yeah, yeah, I live yeah. here, so it's different. <laughs> but I would really recommend if you're between the ages of like 18 to 20, 21, actually, honestly, whatever age you're at, okay? Basically, you secure your winter bike fling by Thanksgiving. It's very, very crucial because everyone is kind of looking for it. And if you want to actually just kind of if you start in winter break, you start from, you don't have the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you have to start, you can start Snapchatting them like a week before, it's a Snapchat thing too, and I'm not a Snapchat girl. Week before Thanksgiving, oh. then you used to hang out winter break, oh, whatever, you know, you're talking leading up into winter break. Then, during winter break, that's when the fling reaches its, its peak, you know? Yeah, like and the most important part about that is that it ends at the end of winter break. You cannot carry on a winter break fling into the real life season. That cannot happen, and you know what? That'd I know, I wouldn't do that book. now. I should be Winter an Winter break play. I, oh, I, uh, do I have things that I could write about <laughs> in that? I have, I perfected it. I was literally the queen of a winter, winter break play. Like, it was so fun, and it was when I was young and dumb, and, like, not that I'm not now, but I just take my life a lot more seriously, Yeah. and I don't just, like, day-to-day, -day, and I never really did. Winter break flings were kind of the exception, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them dating. I was just having so much fun. Like, it was just so fun oh my god it literally was out of a movie like those winter breaks were like the best weeks of my whole life i swear to god they were so much fun so anyways um we're gonna let you guys go yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna hang up the phone it's like you're on facetime no literally okay dom's dom's on facetime with us again no literally guys okay guys so can you do it oh well hold on we're what? here show them we just picked out sophie's outfit show them everything that you're gonna wear Look, I did my nails. Well, show the camera your nails. That looks so pretty. Cute. My nails. Okay, They're so, so cute. Okay, so. I did them um, at my mom's sister's house. <gasps> I love it. Wait, at whose house? Um, at my mom's sister's house. Which sister? Um, he's my, um, it's my dad's sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you show them what you're going to wear? What? I heard that you told you told Grandma Mill and Grandpa that I was going to teach you how to make a YouTube channel. I know. Why are you going to ask me? Hi, how are you? Hi. Sophie, your mom needs you. Oh, Sophie, you need to bring your clothes, though. You need to bring your clothes. Yeah, you do. Okay, here you go. There's your cute outfit. Thanks. Okay. I'll be right back. Sophie, can you show them your outfit now? Yes. Oh, so cute. So where is this from? Do you know? You got me that. Oh, I got you this? Yes. Oh, it's from me. Okay. What about the top? Um. Oh, you're right. I did get you this. It's held up well. Um, Maddie got that. Oh, Maddie did? So yeah. it's all from your aunts. Sophie doesn't think that we're her aunt. She thinks we're her cousins. Yeah. What am I? How are we related? Um, your aunt. Oh, wow. You got it this time. Good job. Love the booth. So cute. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. I have my pie, the pie carrier. I'm bringing back the gluten-free pie oh, for my Bentley, mom. everyone's favorite dog. <gasps> Hi, B. Hi. You are just so cute. You are the cutest puppy ever. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Any feathers? You know, it, it used to be a thing that you'd see in the movies. <laughs> or lids. <laughs> Happy Black Friday, everyone. I was not planning on shopping. I did a lot of pickups. I actually went to three different anthropologies because I'm looking for something I need for tomorrow. It wasn't, an, it's just an online only thing, even though it told me it was at Highland Park. So anyways, I did a lot of um, curbside pickup and then um, I got some candles. So I'm gonna do a little Black Friday haul for you guys. I've also done like an immense amount of online shopping. I'm trying to get all of my Christmas shopping done today. If anyone is watching this, 
that would normally receive a Christmas gift from me, click out right now if you don't and I find out I'll be very upset. I'm gonna go through, oh and I also have a package to unbox. So I'm gonna show you guys my Black Friday haul along with kind of like what I'm giving for Christmas. These are not all the gifts, I have a huge family and I love gift giving so I give literally everyone and their mother a gift. Um, but these are some things that I'll show you guys. I'll have everything linked down below. Anthro was having a really good sale, it was 30% off, and this vlog will be up this weekend. I'm sure they're having Cyber Monday sales. Also guys, I got so many compliments on my outfit today. Everything that I am wearing is Revolve, besides my shoes. They're the Sam Animal ones that I've been talking about nonstop. They're literally my new favorite shoes. I did a winter haul, so this will be in that haul. But it's so comfy, and I will say, Normally with sets like this, I find that they stretch out and they get really like gross and like, I don't know, this one has held up really well and I think it's a lot more flattering than most of them. Also, I was thinking about how I might order Yeti dog bowls today and then I just ripped one of these baskets and it fell on Coco's dog bowl and broke. So I guess I will be ordering that today. This literally all started because I was like, I need to get festive things for a video that I'm filming with my niece in the morning. We're doing a baking video that you guys will see during Vlogmas, which is so exciting. I am so pumped for Vlogmas. I'm going to start making my intro today, I think. I've got a lot of work to do, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we saved that. Okay. It's not good. It's not good at all. It's really hot in here, I feel. I have all these, okay? I'm gonna start with this package first. This is really something, guys. Again, if you know me and if I'm getting you gifts, click out now because I'll probably talk about it. I ordered a lot of things online and I'm actually just gonna show those throughout Vlogmas, so I'm constantly giving you gift ideas, but I'll show you what I like, physically have today. Sister, stepsister, she just got a new iPad. Actually, she doesn't have it yet, but she ordered one. And so I wanted to get her an iPad case and then I got this custom. That's so cute. Those are her initials, love, and it's just like this really cute sleeve that is custom, and I think it is the cutest thing ever, and a really good gift, so love the daily edit. The thing is, the daily edit honestly is pricey, however, it's really hard to find something that's comparable. I will say for phone cases, CoverLab I think is just it's the same thing and it's way cheaper. I wonder if they had iPod cases, I didn't even think about that. And then for my brother-in-law, I got him a card case with his initials which I thought was really cool. and such an easy gift for a guy, you know? They're kind of hard to shop for sometimes. I'm getting into making mocktails. I just like the experience of drinks. I'm not the biggest drinker ever. I'm definitely not sober, um, but I don't know, I'm just not the biggest drinker ever and I just think that I would love mocktails and I want to make them. So I got a cocktail shaker just because I didn't have one and this was really cute and on sale anthropology. Also, pretty much everything I got, regardless of if it's a gift or not, is a good gift idea. Okay, this thing that wanted to break earlier again, I got this little tray on sale. I just thought it was cute. I can use it for so many different things. So that was a good buy. Like I literally went online guys and I had so many things picked out within seconds. It was unbelievable. I got one of my favorite candles ever, the volcano candle. This actually is my favorite candle ever. I got this cute candle from Anthro, it's hot buttered rum. It smells so good. So I actually got eight candles today. That's really a problem. I'm not buying candles for a long time. Honestly, guys, I always want glassware and stuff from Anthro. Besides mugs, I pretty much don't let myself buy it. I cannot wait until I have an actual house where I have more space to where I can have different like seasonal dishes and stuff. Then it'll all be anthropology. But I did want to get myself some glasses for my mocktails. Also, I want a bar cabinet. I thought I wanted a bar cart. I want a bar cabinet. And I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to get for over there because it's practical. And um, I just love nice glasses, things like that, especially if I'm getting into like my mocktails or cocktails if I'm entertaining for other people. I just want to be a good hostess, you know? So I thought these two were really cute. I know for Christmas, I'm getting like pink wine glasses too from West Elm. No, I don't really like wine, but I, you guys, you guys know I drink everything out of a wine glass, so who cares? Okay, I got some mugs that I thought were so cute. Guys, like look at how cute this little Christmas mug is. I love it. Do I have more room for mugs? Probably not, no. My stepmom and my dad, they like love being home and cozy and they also love quality time, okay? So I'm getting them a bunch of board games and puzzles and all the like really cute ones that have come out since quarantine. So this one is for my stepmom and I just thought this was such a cute puzzle to do. 
but I'm gonna get them like a whole set of a ton of different games you guys will see throughout here. So then the idea is like the kids can play with them and it'll be really fun. I think they're gonna like that present a lot more than my other ones that I gave them. They're very like sentimental people, you know what I mean? I got a little detangle brush because I've needed one for a while now. I got this baking thing. Guys, look at how cute this is, okay? Baking, I just I just needed one. This is also a good gift idea. Oh my gosh, guys, you're gonna die. I actually got a sweater. Wait, we'll get to that in a sec. I had to get these ones. So many of you guys have sent them to me. Like, look at how cute they are with a little candy cane in the middle. Are you kidding? I got another one too. Another glass, making spirits bright. I don't know if you can really. Old school YouTube guys. It's really just a cute glass. I got two of these. Honestly, most of my friends don't really drink either. So my mocktails are gonna be a hit, okay? Well, I don't know. I mean, like, I would say like half of them. Making spirits bright. So cute. Oh, I also got two new ornaments because I wanted to give them to my niece Sophie tomorrow so she can have ornaments on my tree. So I thought this one was so cute. A little zebra and a hot tub. So cute. I love just like random things like that. And then this mug with a little Christmas tree. We're festive in my house, if you couldn't tell. Okay, I was amazed by this sweater. I thought it was so cute. Oh, wait. The other ornament, this was my favorite. It's this little, like, wiener dog with Christmas lights around him. I think Sophie will really like that one. Okay, I got this sweater that was already on sale, and it was another 30% off. I loved the color, and I just live in sweaters. And I thought it was just perfect. So I'm excited to wear this. It was a really good deal. I never buy clothes really, I want to say at all from Anthro, but I never buy Anthro or free people like full price. I always get them on sale if I ever do buy them. Oh, here's a deck of cards that were just really cute. They're like dog cards and my family is like really, really big dog people if you couldn't tell. So this, I thought this would be cute to add to their little holiday gift set. I got this set of dominoes for the holiday gift set. Oh, okay, so I got this Bake, Take, Share, Repeat. I've been looking at this from uh, Anthropology like every time I go in, which as we know, Anthropology has really become like my second form of therapy next to like talk therapy at this point. Um, but I love it because you literally can just like put your treats in there and I always say I needed somewhere to put my treats, especially to take them to people because if not, they just sit in my fridge and no one eats them. Um, it's really just me and Dom here, but you know what I mean. I just thought this would be really convenient to have and it's not like too Christmassy so I feel like I'll use it year round when I like bake for other people. I got myself a little mocktail book because I needed some ingredients. I think this is cocktails too. Yeah, 80 joyful cocktails and mocktails for every occasion. So I figured I needed this because I don't even know what is in a mocktail. But these look so good and I just want to be really good at making these. Um, I feel like it's just what my hosting is lacking and in a time where I'm not really able to host for the holidays um, Well, yeah, why am I doing that? I don't know. I'm just practicing. Okay. I went to a store on Knox Henderson because I stopped at Pottery Barn Kids to get some baking stuff for Soph They didn't have any and then the store was across the street. No one literally no one was there My mom already has had this mug. My mom loves Mr. Rogers. It's this really cute mug and if you guys are familiar with Mr. Rogers, every, every day when he would get home, he would like, you know, switch into a sweater and he's like famous for that. The sweater changing mug, it is so cute. I got this in a white elephant or something a few years ago and no one even knew how much she loved Mr. Rogers. Something happened to this mug, she doesn't have it anymore. So I saw it and I just picked up another one just to give her today. I got her, um, her Christmas gifts already, but I just wanted to pick that up for her because I thought that was cute. And then I also got her a Mr. Rogers book. Now, I don't know if she's even gonna read this. I feel like she needs to. She likes reading. Um, and I also got her the Matthew McConaughey book that's not here yet. Um, and she just loves Mr. Rogers. It's such a like my mom kind of thing. I got two more games. So this is the game room movie quiz night. And then I got a what do you meme. At first I was like, I don't think my parents will get it, but I actually think it will be funny to play with them. So last but not least, Barnes, no, Bath and Body Works, Mahogany. Let me know what your favorite candles are from Bath and Body Works. This is my reigning tried and true candle, Marshmallow Fireside. It reminds me of a very happy period of my life, I think when I was younger because I would always have that burning in my room. And so I just always have that candle every year because it just puts me in such a good mood. Like I burned it in my room the other day and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Classic sweater weather. I try to not get the ones that are like tacky around here, but like, what are you gonna do? Sugared snickerdoodle, it smells so good. Another uh, marshmallow fireside. And then I got spiced gingerbread. Good. So these are three for three. So I got a really good deal on this. And yeah, that is what I got Black Friday shopping, except for the stuff that I got online that I'll show you guys soon i actually still need to look at some things online um i basically have waited to buy so many things for black friday so that's why i'm kind of going crazy 
And I need to clean this up right now, guys. Like, look at this. Just made my favorite soup. It's tortellini, kale, Italian sausage soup. I made a reel, so if you guys want the recipe, I'm making a reel. I know I had it on IGTV, but I feel like reels are just easier because they're quicker. Um, it's one of my faves. It's from, uh, as always, the modern proper. It's my favorite place to get recipes, but this is so good and I'm so hungry. Dom is sleeping. She's been sleeping for a few hours downstairs because she didn't really sleep that well last night. Okay guys, I'm really curious. Who are you guys planning on watching during Vlogmas? I'm worried that there's gonna be like content overload. So I think I'm posting every day, but if I miss a few days, like honestly, I think it's just gonna be content overload. So that might be like, I don't know guys. I'm just like worried that it's just gonna be too many videos. Maybe I'll just focus on making them shorter. I'm not quite sure. My favorite soup, I'm so hungry. Then I top it with some red pepper flakes. It is so good, guys. I cannot describe like how good this soup is and I'm so hungry. Anyways, let me know what you guys wanna see and also what you wanna see in Vlogmas. I know Keaton's doing like a week in my life or whatever and it makes me worried that like posting every day will be bad. So you guys let me know what you want from me. Honestly, so tired. It is 6 p.m. and I am like ready to go to bed. Um, I just fed the dogs. I'm actually about to wrap some Christmas presents. Um, life hack for divorced parents. I actually got two different wrapping papers. So like one wrapping paper will go to one side of the family, the other will go to the other side. Obviously, I'm gonna like put their names on it and stuff, but even with that honestly I just feel like it's so easy to forget a gift So if they have different wrapping papers, then I won't forget it to my different Christmases So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap some stuff This is actually just for tomorrow for Sophie, but I'm gonna start wrapping some gifts and that is it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed use the comment section down below as like a Master list of all your vlogmas requests. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye